Hey folks, welcome back to the channel, where today we will discuss the best gaming mouse on the market. Without further ado, let's get started. Oh, and by the way, links to all the featured products are given in the description below. The Razer Death Adder has an overall phenomenal shape for all kinds of grips and hand sizes, and we've spent several hours playing games, practicing Photoshop, and browsing the internet with it. Despite years of repetitions, Razer never messes with the Death Adder shape. There's no reason to. The Death Adder V2 utilizes a 20,000 DPI Razer Focus Plus optical sensor, and while high numbers don't significantly equate to quality, here they do. Razer's newest tech gives flawless tracking, even if you move the mouse as fast as humanly possible. For the preponderance of games and gamers, the Death Adder V2 is an elegant mouse. Its design is simple, with two ideally placed, amply sized thumb buttons. It also has an outstanding optical mouse sensor that will operate on both hard and cloth pads, and it has the ultimate body shape for a claw or hybrid claw slash palm grip. The long-lasting switches and 20,000 DPI optical sensor give lightning-fast responsiveness, and the lightweight, ergonomic design supports various hours of satisfying gameplay. This Razer Death Adder wired gaming mouse has a speed flex cable and strong customization traits for enhanced performance. Many affordable gaming mice are worth your money now, but there are very few that you can have complete confidence in, quite like the Logitech G203 LightSync. It's an all-around player, producing stable and steady performance in a sleek package, and is the most reliable, cheap gaming mouse around today. The Logitech sensor inside is rated up to 8,000 DPI, if you're interested, and it's got responsive keys throughout to guarantee smooth operation. You may notice it's similar to the G203 Prodigy that occupied this same space before it. It's almost equal in every way. The only vital difference between the two is the inclusion of three-zone RGB lighting on the light sink instead of Prodigy's single-zone lighting. It's not a tremendous change, but one that looks a treat and doesn't cost more, in theory. If you can snag a bargain deal on the G203 Prodigy, we highly suggest that you move on it while stocks last. The Logitech LightSync RGB lighting gives easy customization in 16.8 million colors, as well as audio visualization. Users can sync the G203 with another Logitech gear for consistent look. Owning a 32-bit ARM microprocessor a 1000 Hz polling rate, and 1 millisecond response time, this mouse also utilizes a 16 bits per axis data format. The G203 uses a free USB port and its cable measures 6.89 feet. This mouse is compatible with Windows 7 and later, Mac OS 10.10 and later, and Chrome OS. The form and operation of Razer's Naga mouse have come a long way over the years, and it has long been the most reliable MMO mouse for our money. And the newest revision of the Razer Naga Pro is the best yet, a compact, comfortable mouse with a high-quality sensor and three interchangeable thumb grips with key arrays ideal for MOBAs, MMOs, or common use. The MOBA array is the most beneficial. It has six buttons laid out in two rows, so that there are sufficient buttons to map various abilities, but not so many that they become an overwhelming samey blob. This year's Naga gives an enhanced battery life and operates with the Razer Mouse Dock. The Razer Naga Pro is a bit on the smaller side for larger hands, with more of a squat shape than some gaming mice. It's satisfactory in the relaxed grip suited to MMOs, but will still do the job if you play MOBAs, shooters, or any other live games. It has amazingly low click latency, and the sensor has a broad CPI range, but its performance can be irregular due to the high CPI variation. People with medium or large sized hands should feel happy using it, but it might be too big for small hands with any grip type. The Iron Claw is the most suitable mouse we've examined for gamers with larger hands. While its design includes a strange combination of materials, from smooth matte plastic on the switches, to the diamond print grippy rubber sides, to the unique wavy rubber on the scroll wheel, each performs its function intelligently. Instead of a single cohesive material, 
Corsair has chosen one to fill each panel individually, which adds to the best overall fit of the mouse to make it feel really comfortable gliding over your mouse pad. It's domed and curved to fit correctly in the palm of right-handed gamers and is one of the best feeling mice to grip we've ever tested. It does seem a bit weighty, especially for a wireless mouse, and sadly doesn't offer customizable weights. While that makes the Iron Claw feel just a hair more cumbersome than other lighter wired mice, it also makes the mouse feel more important and substantial. It is a reasonably good mouse for video games like FPS. Its click latency is remarkably low when utilized with its receiver or when wired, which makes it feel very responsive. Nevertheless, the mouse is big and heavy, and some people might favor a lighter option for FPS games. Convenience is one of the significant factors in deciding any mouse, gaming or otherwise, and the Logitech MX Vertical is best in class. Its ergonomic design enables you to pleasantly rest your hand in an inert position, indicating you'll experience essentially no strain, even across marathon sittings. Its top DPI setting, 4000, doesn't match with some of the other gaming mice on the list, but it's still extremely accurate with a quality laser sensor that gives all the accuracy you're ever likely to require. You can also unplug it from your computer and control it wirelessly with practically no input lag. And it's got a killer battery life. Just three minutes of charging time will net around a whole day of use. If you're not hung up on a high DPI setting, the MX Vertical is an excellent mouse that feels like an extravagance. Its unique form factor is eye-catching and charmingly curved without relying on RGB gimmick lighting for its artistic appeal. It has great ergonomics, and once you get used to it, it can be a great companion for your work. It has a fabulous build quality, great wireless connectivity choices, and a fair number of buttons to help your work. Thanks for watching. If you liked what you saw, then hit the like button and subscribe to our channel if you loved it. Take a moment to hit the bell icon so you'll get notified of all our new latest uploads.